Testing one, two, are you receiving me? Roger, you're coming through loud and clear. 30 seconds to go, set. Set. Maddie. Kathleen. Yeah, how are you doing? Hello, nice to meet you. Yeah. Please, go in, sit down. Step into my... Offer her a drink now. I know alcohol isn't good for your health, but it's very good for seduction. You think we should order some drinks? Eh, hey, yeah, sure, uh-huh, um... What do you fancy? And do you fancy some wine? Order something strong, don't ask her what she wants. Mm. I tell you, I could do with it. I think I'd do with a whiskey. Seeing as I don't think it's too obvious if you start offering too much alcohol at the first minute. Somewhere that isn't a cocktail bar where they don't specialise in it, absolutely, and certainly at her house or a social gathering, possibly. But where it's the norm, you should grasp the opportunity. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Do you Alison, go on many blind dates? No, not many, but occasionally. You know. All right. Just for fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks. Well, no, I mean, well, it is fun, isn't it? Because it's, uh, it's unknown. It's, uh, it could go any way, wouldn't it, really? Don't talk too much about the actual process of dating. Talk about something else, like her. So, things, yeah. I don't know you at all. Why don't you tell me what you do? You know, you've advised him to really oh, well. talk about her well, personal information. Get a lot about her, but not too much about him. Yes, I mean, quite frankly, it might seem fair on the surface that he's, he's offering as much information and equal partnership in the conversation. In the real world, the best idea is to try to gain as much information about them so you have an advantage over them. Keep asking her about herself. So, uh, you know, you're in the baby food business. Then this, is, this could be a really stupid question, but you know, do you, would you would you have kids? I spit forward. <laughs> I know it's you know my him. first date with you. Yeah. It's a blind date. Try to offer some information about you because she's obviously not asking. But but be subtle about it. Advertising sales was terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. I turned out it was one of these things where it was an advert in a, in a paper saying, you know, earn thousands mm -hmm. in a week. Mm -hmm. and I was really excited about that because I All had right. some fees that I had to pay off. But I thought, I thought that surely everybody knows when they see an advert like that that it's, I mean, you'd have to be stupid not to know that it's just one of those. You were young and you haven't done that sort of thing again. I was young, I was naive, you know. You're a success now, just slide it in naturally. Obviously, you know, since then I've gone on to greater things. I still haven't paid off the fees that... Uh, don't mention debts. Women don't like that. That I had at the time, but I'm, you know, I'm getting there. Although we're all told that people should be honest, in reality, the dating ritual involves, as you can hear right now, um, it involves a lot of selective honesty. I found that being stuck in a relationship was, you know, inhibiting possibilities for myself. You wanted to see other people? Yeah. He, he really slipped up to some extent. He never should have alluded to the fact that he likes to play the field and that his relationships ended because he wanted to play the field. Don't sound as if you don't like commitment. That's one of the worst things you can have. But I am not a commitment phobic or anything like that. It's just the way it's developed. And, you know. Ah, my father always says, beware of men that tell you what they are and what they are. <laughs> Perhaps you might want to subtly pursue the kind of relationships he's, she's had in the past to get an idea of what she might go for. There may be a pattern. I mean, you say that Glaswegian men are these kind of, well, they tend to be a bit brutish. Mm. Is, that, is that the generalisation? <laughs> I've never gone out with anyone from Glasgow. You've never gone out with a Glaswegian, no, despite only, being from Glasgow? They usually last one date. Right. <laughs> and then right. something small puts me off. It could be the colour of their socks. Women on the whole, as you can hear here, are much more selective. They're much more choosy than men. Their standards, according to all studies, are much higher. And you need to know what those standards are and not give an awful lot away about your standards or lack of them. <laughs> <laughs> what about humour? How important is that to inject into the conversation? It is extremely important. One of the quickest ways to get women into bed is by making them laugh. <laughs> laughing all the way to the to bedroom. The <laughs> it's true. I mean, looking at someone like Woody Allen... Are they or... still laughing in the morning? <laughs> <laughs>